exist. So I cannot buy the t-shirt with the head. But why? Is he a very man thing? Yeah. You take it away with the first round, uh, panic. If you want. Yeah. <laughs> We will start off with the person that baited us the most for his magical website claim. And <laughs> we'll go away with Ono then. As he will just be across, across to see if he can pick anyone up early. He does spawn on. I don't know if. Was, yeah, he. What other RC players in the same house? Watch that, Ono. Ono is going to go. Back up this stairs as Hippo will open up with a frag onto my sin and refuse our one player ahead now as Ono will be skipping across the street. Is definitely going to be watching it as we will go to. I'm gonna give still ammo. Ammo! Oh! My colleague has a problem with his mic. Uh oh oh. It's, uh, it's uh, a three on one at the moment. It's Frost, the only last man standing for Western Wolves. He cannot beat down three refuse members. He gets taken down by champ. Uh, let's take away this round with. With uh, let's take it away with fantasy this round. He is of course the SMG. One of the SMGs, and he is already in melon. Take it. Taking a little peek. He doesn't know there's somebody right behind the B wall. He peeked but he didn't see him. There's a lot of action going on. Pick out six on Ono, Chippy replies on Juana. Fantasy kills Chica. Hipper with the kill on Mizen, so it's a 3 on 3. Fantasy getting tagged up. Gets tagged, but not fragged. The bomb is loose at the B side. Two players of the Western Wolves both hanging out in the bottom lower light area. Which will be Frost and Chuby. Frost trying to make his way out. Doesn't succeed. Fantasy getting tagged up heavily, but he regents. So we are spectating Chuby at the moment. To see what he can do. Chuby gets tagged up heavily, but again. Attack, but not the frag. A little bit of wall banging going on. There's one at A. Chuby takes him, plays him down, making it a three on two. Play for the Wolves. Fantasy taking on Champ and Chuby finishing it off on Patrick G, making it one one. And while my uh, co commentator is fixing his mic, he has issues. We are going to start this off with Chuby. Chuby is at this point top fragger for Western Wolf. He already has five kills on the scoreboard. Patrick G opening the kill fest on Ono with the sniper shot, so that's going to scale down for the Western Wolves. Chuby replies on Iguana. Patrick G with the nade on Mison. Mison has been denied a frag this round. Three on four. Hipper getting tagged up very heavily, but manages to survive. Western Bulls are hanging back a little bit. Chuby with the kill on Hipper, making it three on three. Chuby making his way up into top A. Doesn't know there's a player alone. Fat kill on Champ with the SMG. Frost taking down Picker. With only Patrick G left and Frost again with the AK denying Patrick any chance of taking this round back. It is 2-1 for the Western Wolves. Let's take it away with Patrick G. He is the scope for the refuse side. 
Along with the first smoke bang there. Doesn't hit anybody. Guana with the first kill on Chubby Frost replying with the kill on Guana, making it four V versus four again. Some spams are getting no tags and no frags at this point. He makes himself scarce in the top of the balcony behind A. Trying to peek across to B. There's a lot of Western Wolf activity at the B side. Fantasy, let's take a look at Fantasy. Fantasy is aggressive in the B area, in the B alley. Just sitting there, sitting there waiting for everybody. Bombs going Expose down. Practice G with the kill on Ono, so the scope is down. Three on two in favor of the wolves, and the bomb is down. This is going to be. Oh my god, champ! That wallbang, fancy never saw it coming. Oh god. And now, it's refused on the attack side. They have to kill two players and defuse a bomb, and they have only 20 seconds to do so. There goes the big. Oh my god, Ross! Why? Patrick takes him down with the deagle. Holy crap! That was sick. There's only one left. Patrick goes into the defuse. He gets denied by Meissen. And Meissen is destroyed. Great gameplay from Meissen there. Taking the round. Two Western Wolf. 3 1. Let's go with the scope on the other side. Let's see what Ono has to say about the matter. He sees one jumping around, this is the shot. Stand and nade going on. I think I'm taking on Fancy. Fancy not really on the roll just yet, but it's still in the map, only four rounds. So... There's a lot of stuff that can happen. A little bit of a slow round. Oh no, making his way into top light. Expecting the kebab shot, doesn't see anybody. Frost getting tagged up very heavily. So let's see what the action is. Frost is in lower in the lower A next to he is near the light thing. There's a lot of players of the fuse side on A. Jam taking down Chuby, it's now a still 4 on 3, Ono taking down Champ, making it a 3 on 3, so Ono finally sees some action with his scope. There goes a fake plant, oh, Meisen getting tagged up very heavily through the wall and fragged by Hiffer, so the bomb is loose, Ono picks it up, goes for the fake. He knows there's somebody hanging back. He sees a pixel. He decides not to make a shot. And now it's only Ono left. Hit for takes down. Frost as well. Ono with the depot kill on Guana. Sick play there. But Patrick G denies him with the scope. Making it 3 2. Still in favor of the Wilton Wolves though. So this is. This is a very, uh, very scope, scope related map, so the scope is uh, guys are really wise. Fantasy with the first kill on Hiffer with a nade. Denies him the cross. Let's see how it is. Oh, there's some here. Very close stuff. Fantasy taking down Pika in Melons. Pika never even saw it coming. Eisen again is a bomb carrier for Western Wolves, and I think he always is. A champ with a wall bank taking down Meissen, and the bomb is loose. Four on three, the situation. Western Wolves in an advantage. QB taking down Guana, making it four on two. This is not looking good for Refuse. Oh, yes. Perhaps you're going planted. aggressive, but. Failing in the attempt to get into the bat, champ denies him taking him down. Three on two. Patrick with the deagle picks up the SMG. He's one in top A, takes down Tubi with the SMG. There's only one. It's two on two. 
with a bomb down, 20 seconds to go. Ono takes down Champ first and Patrick G right after making it 4-2. Ono oh going massive the end of the round. Yes, and I, and I know you've all been waiting for this, so let's take a look at Frost. It's This map is also known as Frost Fire, and everybody knows why. Frost is an absolute beast on Crossfire. We've seen him doing some amazing stuff in the past. And let's see how it goes out. Oh no, by the way, with the first kill on Hiffer. Pick out with a double kill on Oh no, and Fantasy. Fantasy in, on his turn, taking Iguana first. But then gets taken out by Pick out. A lot of action from the R side on the B area. Pika is just waiting in the B alley. Just sitting there, waiting. And Frost knows he's there. So Frost is waiting for one pixel. Just at the point where he's looking away, he sees the pixel. Now he takes down Pika. Three on two. Oh, at this point, it's still anybody's game. Still pretty early in it. There is somebody at the front side of A going to back it. Frost again with the kill on Chan. And Frost again on Patrick. Frost going absolutely massive that round. Eight. It is also called Frost Fire, as everybody knows, so it's his map. Ah, Fennec, you're back. Take it away, mate. Yeah, I I will take it away. I think we're going. Damn. Go champ here as oh, he is just gonna sit in the camp area as Guard will be taken out by a nade from Fantasy to open up this game as Champ will just be sat in this little cafe area waiting for someone. We will switch to the person who is in a, a house. I don't know who it is, it is Tube. He can way through as Frost will get a frag onto here for that as Tubi will meet up with someone in this back area anytime soon. But no he doesn't as Patrick G. We'll take out one of them and cross them out there. It's, <laughs> this tribute is just going to do his little bunny hops. It's going to come down this little stairs. Little hey, house stairs. As tribute will manage to pick up the coach. Oh, my sin. We'll be able to get the plant down, and it is a 4 on 2. Fantasy will make a 4 on 1 as Fantasy will be frag onto Champ as a player. Patrick G will get an eagle on the pack. Let's see if he can get the second as tribute, but no, he can't. As Patrick G will be shut down by Tubi there. 6-2 to the Western Wolves side. We still haven't seen much orgasmic play. And we would have expected that from either Frost or Fantasy. Let's take it away with the bomb carrier for Western Wolves, aka Mycin. Patrick T with the first kill on Ono, so the scope is down. Patrick is out scoping Ono pretty much on this map at the moment. Tubi on champ with the grenade. Making it all in again. Four on four. Myson with a beautiful kill on pickup through the bus of death. Tubi kills Guana, making it four on two. It is already six two in Explosive rounds. Explosive looking planted. very good. Taking on Mice now to plant the bomb. Patrick G deagling down Tubi. Fantasy. Fantasy destroying Patrick G. And Hiffer is last man standing on the fuse. He has two players to take down. And he bomb to the fuse. What is this going to be? There's a lot of spam going out from the man with the golden gun. And Frost denies him from bottom light, taking him down with the AK, making it 7 2. <laughs> As Frost will cow, but I thought that was meant to be a serious bind, but he is telling them to be serious. As we will take it away with a refuse play, we will take it away with Patrick G. As Mycin will open up onto Champ. And. Oh, and you got an idea on what the other wrong to not, well, to not really stop this West Wolves hurricane-like power oh. just 
attack in there, but as Patrick G will get shot onto Mice in there, and Fancy will return onto Pika, as Chibi will pick up another one onto Brands there. So as we were saying, anyway, yeah. what could stop this hurricane like? Yeah, the uh, at this point, Russian Wolves just have a very decent attack on Crossfire, and I'm just curious if uh, Patrick G always has the upper hand on Ono at the moment on the scope to scope side. And I don't, I don't know if it's going to be any different when they do a side change. Uh, we are going with Fantasy at the moment. Names are going out, nobody gets tagged, nobody gets fragged, so it's still anybody's game. Still 5 on 5. Fantasy is sitting there, counting boxes in the melons room. Just hugging the boxes, he loves the boxes, he loves melons. So he's just sitting there, waiting. For his next victim. As that victim has maybe gonna get his final fantasy. Patrick G oh. was the first kill on Ono, and again Ono gets outscoped by Patrick G. Chubri relying on Pika, taking him down with the SMG. Four on four, both play, uh, both champ and fantasy get tagged up, but they both survive. There goes Chubi again with the kill on the Hiffa with the SMG. Chubi going aggressive on the A side. Trying to backstab everybody. Fantasy taking down Guana. Champ has taken down Frost in the meantime. So this round's not going to be a Frost fire. Explosive oh, planted. Chubi with a beautiful kill there on Fantasy. He didn't even start coming. Cham takes on Fantasy and Chubi finishes it off on Cham, making it 9 2 for the Western Wolves. From what I was watching between the Ono and the Patrick G thing, I, I just saw. I did watch Patrick G kill Ono, but I did see that Ono had decided to just peek out across the entire street. It seems that Patrick G is just waiting in one spot on him. I could be saying that Ono needs to change the grenade, will come over from Ono. And he will take out Pika for the kill, for the first kill there. And see, who will get it? My sim will be tagged up there. Ono will get his second frag of the round onto Guan's there. And this could be Ono's round. Get back, building some momentum here. But no, Champ will shut down as if he will put a frag to Chubi as well. Explosives as planted. Fantasy. Will take out Champ, and it is now a three on two in favor of the Western Wolf side. And Patrick G and Hiffa will be trying everything they can to stop well, Western Wolf win. <laughs> winning this round as Fancy will open up the Hiffa, and Patrick G has it all to do. As he is trying to make the wall bank, he does know that there is someone in that cap area, but I don't know if he can pick up the frag as he does have 20 seconds left to do it. And he is just going to get super aggressive. He will take up Buzz, <laughs> and then he will be shot at, running like a headless chicken. Then he zigged, then he zagged, then he got tagged, and then he died. Oh my god, that was unlucky. So it's uh, 10 to at half time, and uh, refuse guys have a mountain to climb to get back into this. Let's see if their attack is just as good as a you know, Western Wolves' attack was. But you must remember that this is a mountain filled with wolves on it. Yeah, oh. and, and don't forget this is Frostfire, and they have their final fantasy, so... Our yeah, jokes just get better. Yeah, uh, there we go again. These are just our jokes. No, 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 nobody is stronger in jokes than we are. Nobody. They get away well. So, let's take it away with, uh... Who are we following? Let's see if Patrick G. Let's see if Patrick G can out outscope Ono on the attack side as well. Champ with the first kill on Ono, so unlucky Patrick, you don't get the chance to scope Ono because he died of a grenade. Champ beat you to it. My replies on Pika. Fantasy with the other G shot on one. Six shot from Patrick G into kebab shop. He Decimates Mycin with the R700. Three on three. Ifer has the bomb. Goes for the fake. Tries to lure a player out who is already in the B alley, just waiting on the stairs. See what that is? That is his final fantasy. 
And fantasy, take him down. Can you do it? Can you do it? Oh yes, fantasy, great play there, taking down Hiffa. So the bomb is loose. Somebody behind. You'll be taking down Chan. So it's only on to Patrick G against three Western Wolves powerhouses. And a bomb loose. And Frost denies him, making it 11 2. As this. be a completely dominated map by Western Wolves. I mean, I can't really see what uh, our reason can do to stop it as Fantasy will pick up a fragment of champ and Pika will get one that will reply onto Fantasy as Chubi will take out Hiffa there. And we will go to Chubi now. I'm I'm sorry to interrupt you, but do my eyes deceive me and has Ono dropped the scope? I, I think he has dropped the scope and went to the AK instead. As Ono and Froz are telling to move form, please. As Patrick G will get a frag onto Juby and Ono will kill Grant, as this is a two on one against Patrick G, and he will be taken up by Mice in there. 12 2 to the well, Western Wolf side. Let's take a look, uh, little look at the scoreboard. It's Patrick G for the refused side on 16 frags. Stop fragging for their side. And on the Western Wolf side, it is Juby. 21 kills and 9 deaths because he gets taken down by the sniper rifle Patrick G. The man hitting all of these spots. Guana taking down Mason. Let's take a look if Ono has picked up the scope again or not. Uh, he has a SMG as far as I can see. He does have the scope on him there. It is now 3 on 3. He, do he doesn't really know what gun to take, so he just switches between AK and SMG. He has enough choice. I would go with the black AK in, uh, if I were him. See? <coughs> he knows it. He knows it. He listens to me. Still 3 on 3. Uh, let's see. The bomb is loose. The bomb is loose at the B side. Patrick G trying to get some shots off in kebab and he misses them all there is a player in the b alley who is that that is a fantasy and there are two players there i see ross gets taken down by pika with the deagle and pika again on fantasy with the ak Ono in one two three and Ono gets decimated by champ system g wow they picked up around it's uh, 12 3. As Captain Mask oh, we will get a opening frag onto Chibi with a frag. As everyone actually running about, trying to get into starting position. As Mycin and I think it is Froz do have this cross. But no. Broz is just going to be watching that one, that B area, as we will just through, see what else is going on. Is it just me or are the review side not even trying? Not, not, not really playing serious. I do not think they are playing serious. Uh, that is, I think that's what the Western Wolf side are complaining about in the buys as Fancy will by champ, but champ will be taken up by Ono as my sin will kill Hiffa and Ono will go on to get as it is a 3 on 2 in favour of the Western Wolf side. We will go to, I think we will go to Ono. It's just going to go to be to take out anyone that is going to peek a little too far out as Frost will get a frag onto Ghana there. Guana, sorry. <laughs> as Patrick G is left in a 1 on 3 that we do see him left in a little too often. Probably for his liking, as we will stick with Ono, who is going to try and get the smoke shot onto him. We'll be going for the no scopes. And Patrick G only has about 15 seconds to get this one down. But no, Patrick G just does just run out there. As Frost will take Patrick out. I believe the map 